What it is. One, two, three, testing, testing. All right, let's talk about batteries. Let's talk about the questions that we get about batteries. Here we go. All right, guys, let's do a Q&A on the batteries. First question, John Garcia. Oh man, this is, a, this is an old question. It's like two months old. I don't know why I never answered it. Uh, but I'm gonna answer it today. How do you know the wire fuse you use? Hey guys, settle down. How do I know if the wire fuse you use are the right ones for a Tesla house battery? Then you calculate the max six amp draw for your Samba. How would that affect a 12 volt bank with a 12 volt inverter? And also, do I need a special inverter or charge controller? Um, and then he's asking more, you know, Okay, let's, uh, let's answer that. Let's start with the wire that I chose to use on my battery. Um, I guess I wasn't very clear and a lot of people are always asking which, where did I get the wire? And so I use the legs of a one eight watt resistor. The, you can use any value, like we're not gonna use you're not gonna use the actual resistor, so it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that it's this size. The reason I did that is because, well, I had a bunch of them sitting here on my desk, and then I tested them, and I put a video. In fact, I'm gonna link that video here. You can go watch that thing when I tested it, and it actually burnt up at six amps. So if you put more than six amps for more than, I don't know, five, six seconds or something, then this little wire here, it's going to burn. And so, I guess the question is, this would work for the batteries that I was doing and designing for my Samba. How would that transfer to the batteries that are going to be used for like a power wall, a home power wall? And so the answer is, it doesn't really matter. Um, what matters more is the type of cells that you're gonna use. Look, we're, we're using, if you're gonna be using brand new cells that are like high power, high, you know, that are capable of doing high current, um, then this might not be the right fuse wire for you. So if your cell is capable of doing, you know, 10 amps, 20 amps, 30 amps, um, you know, continuous, and you wanna use the cells that way, you wanna run them at that kind, that, at those power levels, well, this six amp little fuse thing is gonna blow, you know, as soon as it hits six amps, right? And so you're not gonna be able to use those cells the way you wanna design your battery. And so it really, it doesn't matter where the energy is going, it, it, it doesn't matter. It just matters what kind of cells you got and how you're designing the system. And so, because we're starting, we're, because we're using recycled cells, they're near the end of their life. These cells are old, they're near their end of life and they're past their 70% of the original capacity. And so you don't wanna run these cells too hard, at least not if you want them to last, right? And so six amps uh, fuse links, like I put in here, I think that's plenty. That's a good level, you know, it's like, that's a way above what you want to actually take out of these cells which is on my Samba was gonna be around. Okay, on my Samba, the maximum load that my system could draw off of the battery is 650 amps. Now you divide the 650 amps by the number of cells and the number of fuses, right? Because that's the number of fuses that you're gonna have, uh, which is on, on my battery design that I was gonna do is gonna be 150. So this cell here has 150 cells, 150 fuses and if you divide um, 650 or yeah if you divide 650 into 150 then that equals 4.3 so at maximum each cell is going to see 4.3 amps right that's at max at peak um, my system does not run peak all the time it actually only runs peak a few seconds at a time, you know, for 10 seconds maybe. Uh, even going uphill, it runs somewhere like 400 amps, which is, you know, 250 amps below peak. 
And so these little fuses are only seeing a, a few amps, you know, like two amps, uh, it's probably like around two amps continuous. So you have to ask yourself your system. It doesn't really matter what you're running, your house, your car, a big lamp, uh, whatever, you know, it's like, it doesn't matter. It just matters how much energy you're gonna, what the load is gonna look like on your battery. If you're, if you're gonna be trying to pull a huge load, then you either have to increase your battery size so that per cell, each cell, it's only seeing a couple of amps, um, or you need to use a different type of cell, not something that it's near end of its life with 2000 milliamp hours left in it. Um, and so you might actually have to use either more of these per cell or use a bigger, thicker cable that will burn above the normal use of your cells. And so it really depends on your application. You want to run your entire house or do you want to run just partial? What kind of load you're going to put into your battery is going to determine whether this, this little cable here makes a good fuse for you. I hope that makes some kind of sense. Um, I'll think about more about how to explain that in a better way. Uh, but as of right now, that is the answer. As far as your other Second part of your answer, uh, where you're asking if you if you need a special inverter and charge controller for the solar thing, I, I don't know. I haven't started messing around with that yet, but the same principles apply, and so that shouldn't be too hard. And I am gonna experiment with that in future, and so you know, stay tuned for those projects whenever they do come up. All right. You don't have two left feet. Oh, oh yeah, the they're both they're both um, going this way. <laughs> you did They're get two right ones. <laughs> What's hurting you is it because All right. I guess if I'm going to fall, I'm going to do it early.